We'll guide you through how to download and install mods for Minecraft 1.21.8. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Doing this is really cool because mods can add different things to the game, features, items, many other things. So to go and get started, we need to come and quit out of Minecraft like so. Now you need to go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll go and use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. So to get started, we need to go and get something called a mod loader, then we can get mods. The mod loader we're going to get is called Forge. Type in Forge Minecraft and come to files.minecraftforge.net. You can go over to the left and select 1.21.8. Then we can go and select installer. What's going to happen is you are going to be brought to an add or offer wall here. If you see a download button, that is for the add. What you need to do is go and press the skip button in the top right like so, and then it will download. Next, you want to go and head to a site called Curse Forge. Come and select Minecraft, and then you can press browse at the top. On the left, you want to go and scroll down into mod loaders and we can go and select forge and then we can go and get it for 1.21.8. Now you can scroll through here and go and find a mod that you want. For example, I'll go and get journey map. This is useful. There are many others out there as well and you can get multiple. You can go down and read about it, but to go and get it, then what you need to do is go and press files at the top. Now we need to make sure we get it for forge and for 1.21.8. We can then come to the right, press the three dots and press download file. Now we're going to go and be waiting here. In this case, it was blocked, but if I go and click on it, I'll press download unverified file. Before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then go and check them out. They're my go-to place for one. If we go and scroll down, we can start checking out some of their great benefits. And right now you can get yourself 25% off the first invoice as well. So it's definitely worth checking out but they've got one click install mod packs. One of my favorite things being is the 24 seven support for your always online server. So you can go and get the help anytime you need it, ultra latency and so many other great things as well. So check them out if you need a server, but now to go and start the install process, we need to come to our file explorer, come to your downloads and you can press download to the left otherwise. And you want to go and find the forge installer just here. And you want to go and double click on it like so. This should go and open up. What you can do is select install client and press OK. But if you're fine, this isn't opening or it's not working, you need to come back to your web browser. You need to go to java.com. This is likely happening because you don't have Java. So what you can do is press download Java for desktops. We can go and get the Java installer and run through just like any other application. Then you can return to forge and right click and go and hover over open with and press choose another app. Select Java TM platform SE binary and press always and then it should run. And then you can go and install the client. If it still doesn't, you may introduce something called a jar fix, which relinks jar and java files together again. Then once you've that installed, press search at the bottom and open the launcher. Go to the top and press installations. Then what you want to do is go and scroll down and find forge. Hover over it and press the file or folder icon to the right. Then what we need to do is go and scroll down and you want to go and find the mods folder. Go and double click on it. If you've got older mods in there, make sure you delete them as otherwise they can conflict. Then what you want to do is come to your downloads like so, and we can go and add in the mods we downloaded. Then you want to go and hover over it and press play to the right. Press mods and you can then go and see we've got it over to the left here. I can see it in the top right. Of course, the mod you got may be different.